Audi's R8 e-tron and its technology offer a glimpse of the future and a hint of just how emotional and flexible electromobility can be. Our Audi spokesman says they presented the R8 e-tron as a technology highlight, a trailblazer for development. In other words, they can apply the technology, test it, and develop it for series production, so future series-produced cars can benefit from it. The R8 e-tron has a 280-kilowatt powerhouse with a maximum torque of a brute 820 newton meters. It boasts an impressive range of 215 kilometers. Audi's Rainer Metzger explains that inside what's normally the transmission hump is a battery shaped like a T. The front part has two cell levels and the back part, behind the seats, has four cell levels. Altogether, the battery weighs 577 kilos. He says it's the heart of the car. The car has left and right electric motors. They work independently, so the right one drives the right wheel and the left the left wheel. The unique configuration allows for a kind of torque vectoring, meaning that when it corners, the outer wheel, the left one here, has to drive harder, so more power can be shifted onto that one. He continues saying this car makes use of what he calls recuperation, which means that since normal driving mainly uses the rear wheel brakes and the electric motors are directly coupled to these wheels, when the driver takes his foot off the pedal, the braking energy can be recuperated and fed back into the battery. But the series is set to remain small. Only 13 units have been built because Audi opted to conduct further tests and research into electromobility. Audi's Rainer Metzger explains that the Electro was developed parallel to the normal R8, but only the doors were the same. Everything else on the e-tron was handmade out of carbon fiber, and the interior had been completely redesigned compared to the normal R8. He says Audi developed new rims especially for the R8 e-tron. When the cars stopped, they opened up to cool the brakes. As speeds exceeding 50 kilometers an hour, the centrifugal force pushes these side blades in to enhance the car's aerodynamics. The R8 e-tron weighed in at 1,780 kilos. The body structure, including side panels, came to barely 200 kilos, 23 kilos less than the normal R8. Even the glass rear window was replaced with a carbon fiber panel to reduce weight even more. Metzger points out the system that replaces the rearview mirror. The view back is obstructed, so a camera is used to show what's back there on an OLED display mounted where the rearview mirror would be. The system was tried for the first time on the R18 Le Mans and adopted for the R8 e-tron. The R8 e-tron makes the sprint from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.2 seconds. Tire squealing included. Are there any other sounds? Metzger says Audi developed the sound especially for the R8 e-tron. They were aiming for a mix of a futuristic and a familiar combustion sound. Even standing still, the car purrs to warn pedestrians of its presence. The noise varies depending on how hard the driver steps on the gas or how much energy the car is using just to enhance the feeling of being in motion. But in terms of the future, Audi's R8 e-tron will remain a model used to research the technology that may be used in series-produced electro cars.